guys, long time no speak. I need your help, okay? Something weird is happening in, in my house at the minute and I know that my spooky friends on this channel <laughs> will be able to help me figure out what the hell's going on. So I was just sitting here um, getting ready to film for my other channel and I suddenly got this feeling that someone was stood behind me. And so I turned round, obviously, to see what was going on and there was nobody there. Apologies for the sound next door or having more building work done. And this plant just here, one stem at the very front was shaking, right? Nothing too crazy about that, right? You could say maybe there was a breeze, although I checked her all around the window. There's no draft or anything coming through. And like I say, it was just one that was just shaking rapidly by itself. Now, I wouldn't think that this was too crazy, except last week I was in the kitchen with my daughter, my 14 year old daughter. And we always try and prank each other by sneaking up behind people and what, you know, that's, that's our love language. <laughs> that's just what we do. And I was in the kitchen, so I was stood there at the sink washing up and she kept trying to sneak up behind me. And she's like my height. In fact, she's probably slightly taller than me. And I could, she walked off anyway, and I could see her out the corner of my eye stood just over my shoulder. And I thought she's gonna do it again. She's coming to prank me again, but I can see her. Well, the next thing I know, I, her voice comes from the opposite side and her hand comes on my shoulder. At the same time as she's standing here and she popped her head up this side, I could still see like a figure standing just over my shoulder. So I started freaking out. I turned to look and whatever was there had vanished. And my daughter's like, what the hell's going on? And I was like, I swear, I thought that you were stood that side of me because I could see a figure. And the whole time she was this side of me. So anyway, we made a joke. She said I was probably senile. We moved on, okay? <laughs> we didn't think any much else of it. Later on that night, we were all upstairs, so me and my two kids were all upstairs in our bedrooms. So there were no lights on down here and my son came downstairs to get himself a drink. The next thing I know, he comes running up the stairs. My son's 12 and he was like, mom, the weirdest things just happened in the kitchen. And he said, I went downstairs to get a drink and as I went into the kitchen area, I swear I could see what looked like a person crouching down in the middle of the kitchen floor. He said, and then suddenly it moved. He said, so I pressed the light switch really quickly and there was nothing there. And I was like, oh no, like I, I said, I literally saw something this morning in that kitchen. He was like, no, mom, don't say that. What, no, please, no, don't lie, don't make it up. And I was like, I swear I'm not lying. I said, go and tell your sister that story that you just told me and see what she says. And so I heard him go into Erin's bedroom, tell her the story and she was like, oh my God, mom saw something in the kitchen earlier. So nothing else happened after that. And then obviously today, I felt like someone was watching me and then I turned around and that's wobbling. And now I'm wondering like what the heck's going on. So if anyone has any idea as to what it might be, please let me know. It doesn't feel scary. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm particularly sensitive to energies and stuff. So when things don't feel good, when there's bad energy there, like I can feel it and I don't feel anything now, it doesn't feel bad. So I'm just wondering what it is. What I've noticed as well, a couple of times in the videos that I filmed, like I say, for my other channel, when I've come to editing, there's been a couple of times where I've been like, wait, is that an orb going behind me? And I've kind of just brushed it off, like it's probably dust or it's a bug or, or something else. And the, a video that I made uh, the beginning of April um, was quite an emotional video actually for me. I was talking about the rising cost of living and, you know, the impact that my rent was going up and, you know, I was feeling very vulnerable and um, a bit down and, I noticed a couple of times something went behind me when I was talking about that, when I was in the editing phase. And so now I'm wondering, like, is it 
is it me? Is it when I was low energy? Did I attract something in? Is it like an ancestor or a spirit guide or an angel or something that's just there in the background because I'm, you know, was, was feeling a bit low or like, what is it? What's going on? Like I've had stuff happen in this house before. And in fact, on my other channel, in one of the videos, somebody commented um, and said, oh, you know, like, sweetheart, I think you've got a spirit in, in your bedroom because that's where I filmed it. And I was like, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, I've had stuff happen in this house before, but it always felt, the energy always felt very transient. Like um, it wasn't all the time. It was just something that was passing through or popping in and out. So now I have no idea, but, but this is the first time that there's been like figures and it was just weird for both my son and I to see things on the same day. My son's not particularly um, into like paranormal stuff. So if anybody has any ideas, like do I need to sage my house? Or am I just on the downward spiral into insanity? I <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas, if anyone else has had like spontaneous, um, spontaneous spirits, I guess, popping up into their lives, please let me know. Um, yeah. I hope you're all good. Anyway, um, I just thought that I would share my story with you because I know that my spooky friends over here will appreciate um, will appreciate this and I will hopefully speak to you guys again really soon. Take care.